Okay, now suppose you have any content, you create any content like a journal, publication, anything. How do you protect your rights as a creator, content creator? For example, like you create a, a manuscript, how do you protect your rights? Watermark. You can watermark it, but watermarks can be removed. So, one of the ways you can do it is by copyright. Okay, so the, the most extreme way or the most, uh, the best way to do is you combine all the lecture notes, you prepare a booklet and you copyright it under the MIPO. So you have to fill up your Borang IP3 with PPI to protect your lecture note. But make sure when you do a copywriting that the material which is inside the lecture note is not from other source. Like it cannot be from another book or another, so it should be your content. You can, you can paraphrase content but you cannot use, okay? So that's the issue. Now when you use Smart Tree system, make sure that all the content which you upload there is user created. It should be created by you, yourself the slide note and all. And there's a way to protect it using a license attribution. I will show you how. So go to Creative Commons. Okay, there's a way to mark your slide as a Creative Commons. Now suppose your student download your lecture note and reuse it without attributing you, they can be in trouble because you're protected by something known as Creative Commons attribution. Okay, this is, have you all heard of this? Creative Commons? Yeah, Creative Commons. Okay, now there are different kind of licenses. One is the copyright. For example, the best, the best way to protect your lecture note, original, you make a booklet, you compile all, you make one book, you go to PPI, you copyright it using the Borang IP3. Borang IP3 is for copyright, that's the best way. But make sure your content inside is not from other sources. Okay, so make sure that, okay. The, if you don't want to do that, the next one is basically this, is something known as Creative Commons licensing. So Creative Commons is a license which is basically uh, generated by you, yourself. In just one minute you can generate a license, but each slide will carry your Creative Commons license. Okay, now in Creative Commons license is very interesting. It allows other users to uh, use the lecture note, but they need to attribute you. That's the basic thing, to protect your identity as a lecturer. So I'm uh, advising you to do it because of your, you see today's world we are creating content. But no one knows the value of the content. You're creating so many lecture notes, you're spending nights, day and night, you're sitting in the night creating content, right? But you don't protect it, you can lose it. So the way you protect it is by using Creative Commons. Now, what you have is basically content on Creative Commons. For example, if you want to use an image of a fish, you can use other people's content, which is CC, Creative Commons content, by searching on this site. Okay, you can see, for example, you just look for CC image, see, look for CC image, okay? Now, okay, I want to look for Groper, just look, G-R-O-U-P-R, G-R-O-U-P-R, Karapu, just look, you have to write in G-R-O-U-P-R, okay, okay, click on both, okay, so you click on this, okay, so in this there's an image of the Groper, you want to use this in your slide, right, you click and you see, okay, click, click, okay, click, okay, when you click in this creative comment, it only happens here, it doesn't happen in others, you can see this, CC, B, uh, this is uh, the person, BY, non-commercial and share alike. What it means is that this image you can use again, okay? But you have to attribute the author of the image who is, you have to put his sumba below, okay? And then you put, you cannot use it for commercial use, no advertising, and you have to share it alike. Means, suppose you share the image, that you should put that same license so other people can share it in the same way, okay? So this is what it means when you see this image. So each image will have move over the image, so you can move over the image, it will have, so this is CCBY means he wants you to use it, but no, you can just put his name. No need to, sh uh, you can commercialize this image. You move over it, so this one is CCBY. So, C so those particular symbols are the ones which are important for the images. So please protect your content by assigning the appropriate license. So this is how you get your license, okay? So Zul, you can go to the Creative Commons license chooser. So you go to Creative Commons, and then you choose Creative Commons license chooser. So in Creative Commons, we have license chooser. License chooser. Okay, license chooser. Okay, Creative Commons license. Just write Creative Commons license chooser. It will take you to the to the site. Okay, this is a Creative Commons license chooser. Okay, go to Creative Commons. You can search in the web page, but I did it from outside. Okay, now what it asks you, it will only ask you three questions. Go down, Zul. Okay, so it allows you this question. Okay, this is a very clear black and white question. So it asks you. The first one it asks you, do you allow your work to be shared? So you say yes. If you say no, it will not give you a license. If you do yeah, share alike, means other people have to share it alike. So for example, I'm sharing, okay, I want my work lecture note to be shared, yes. But I don't want people to use it commercially, no. Okay, so I click no. Okay, no. And now I create the license, okay. So now this is the license. 
This is the license which you get. Now, this license, go down, help others to Edward. You need to copy and paste this on your slide. Uh, so so you, you need to copy and paste it in the header or footer on each and every slide. Okay? So it means that this license is a shared by the Creative Commons. So you copy this, copy, and then you paste it in your, just take the, your, your, uh, your slide. You have your PDF, uh, sorry, PowerPoint slide, right? You save it here. Save it here. Okay? It will carry the license in your slide. Okay? And when you share your slide with the student, never share PDF. Uh, sorry, never share PowerPoint. The save as PDF, okay? Now you will ask me that nowadays you get a lot of software to crack the PDF, right? But when they crack the PDF, the, the, the license will be carried in the crack. They will crack your PDF file open, they will try to modify it, but the license is embedded electronically. <laughs> So you cannot, of course they can hack it and remove it, but it requires a lot of technological expertise to hack it. They won't do that for election. But this will basically protect your slide. You save it as PDF and then you uh, basically share it. If you want to even one more level of protection, you need to use the repository at UMS, okay? I'll show you to here. Yeah. So you create your slide, right? You can show it at our repository. O go to oer.ums, oer. Okay, Creative Commons. We, we will be doing one IDP course on Creative Commons only to teach you how to protect your content. Do, do you all have any content here? Do you all have any content here? This repository has been created specially for you, for all of us to protect our content. Okay? This is a UMS repository for content. Okay, I will show you down. For example, just look, I know my, oh, there's nothing at BMRF. Go to IBTP. Uh, the, 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 the. Okay, go to the ITB, ITBC, go to uh, Tropical Biology, uh, any, anyone. Okay. Okay. So inside this, he has put in the, uh, your brochures, go to brochures. your e-book, e-book also can. Okay. So inside this, they have e-books. So the e-books are stored in the repository. So if, for example, you have your lecture note, you can convert it to PDF, save it in the repository. So now anyone copying your lecture note, they have a trace in the repository. The repository has its own analytics system, so it will which will click here, so you can store in the repository. So that's about the question about sharing lecture note on the system. Electronically, when you share lecture note, two precautions. One, protect yourself. Secondly, don't use uh, other people's content without a license, okay? In fact, some of the lecturers, they will uh, use the graph from Spring. Uh, so, for example, you have a Elsevier. You download a graph from their, uh, from their manuscript. You put it in your slider and you show it. Actually, we are violating the copyright of that particular journal. So, this is what we have to be protect ourselves. Because the way they are, the, these legal people work, right? They won't sue you the first instance. What they are going to do, they are going to wait until 500 or 600 people access your, your, your slide. After they found evidence of that, then only they sue you so that they can get more money. <laughs> oh, th this is what we have to protect ourselves as lecturers in terms of our legal rights. Because at the end of the day, the content creator is us. So the university is not liable, it is we. Okay? So that's why we need to follow all this system with the online. Please protect yourself, uh, your legal rights as a lecturer. <laughs> okay, so that brings us to the end of the smart three tutorials. So